G'day guys, Fishing Australia here. Today, I am down, I'm up actually, I'm up in one of the beautiful northeastern rivers that Tasmania has to offer, and I'm doing some trout fishing. So, I've just got tied on at the moment, a little tiny, you already guessed it, little tiny map spinner, I've gone with a size one for this shallow water. So it gets shallow and it gets deep, but um, yeah, we've got a beautiful day. Um, it's cloudy, but it's warm. The fish are already out. I've had a couple of follows, but yeah, hopefully we'll get onto a couple and I'll be able to show you guys some nice fish. G'day guys, I'm down here at All Goods Outfitters Launceston and I'd just like to thank them for sponsoring this video as well as all of my other videos. All Goods Outfitters have a huge range of rods, reels, lures, plastics and all your outdoor clothing needs. So next time you're in Lonnie, make sure to come down to All Goods Outfitters on the corner of York Street and St John Street and see the friendly staff here while getting all you need for your next outdoor adventure. So they can continue to support me to make videos like this one. Also guys, only around 33% of you guys are subscribed, so make sure to subscribe as it's free and it really helps me out. And enjoy the rest of this Fish and Australia video. Oh, oh. That's a good take. That's that was a nice fish. That was a nice fish. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, come here. Come in, come in. That is a nice, that is a very well conditioned river trout. That is a good trout. Um, where will I go? I'll go over here for a photo. Um, well guys, so um, I've been fishing a jazz lure. So in their 50 millimeter range, um, that all goods Launceston cell. I'll just quickly get out here. Uh, and it, now I'll leave him in the water. Yeah, so I've been fishing that little jazz lure. At, they've actually got them in at All Goods Launceston. And yeah, so anyway, I've got a couple of them. And um, yeah, oh well, they catch they catch brown trout, and that is for sure. And he's a good fish. So anyway, I'm gonna grab my phone and take a photo of him because he's a nice fish. And yeah, so we'll unclip him and leave him in the water and get a photo. Righto guys, so I just got a quick photo there. Now we'll just pop that jazz lure out just like that. So like I say, All Goods Launceston are your local stockist of jazz lures in Launceston. If you want to get yourself a couple of jazz lures, All Goods Launceston is the place to go. Beautiful, beautiful little fish. So like that is off. Oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god, that was huge, that was huge, like, no, that was a huge fish. Oh, 
I just casted it right on top of him. He's just disappeared under the bank. I got no chance now. Damn it. That was... I must have casted it like right on his head. <laughs> no! The only reason I lost that because my lure was like this and I didn't have like actual hook point. Oh no. Are you joking me? Two really good bow waves and I hook up to bark. Bark. There we go, guys. Oh, he is an explosive little fella. Up you come, up you come. Beautiful. So that's, that's one really good thing about having a very nice, reliable leader that you can just you can just horse fish in onto the bank like that. Um, oh, why do you have to do that? Like I use Jinkai four pound leader and I've caught some, oh, just like that he comes off. And off he goes. I've caught some very, very solid fish on four pound Jinkai leader and I tell you what, for for what it costs at All Goods Launceston, it it's definitely worth its weight. Like I well, what I fish Jinkai leader for ever since ever since about a year and a half now, and I have had no dramas with it. Obviously, I've been snapped off, but there's sometimes where you just get hooked up by a big brim and you've got no choice. But yeah, so Jinkai Leader, it's available at All Goods on Seston. Get in there and get yourself some because it is top quality stuff. Toothfish. Oh my God, hello. That's a fair way to welcome yourself to the party. They took that lot, there was no tomorrow. Come here. Oh, I've touched him so he counts, but now I've just got to try and, oh. oh swing him in, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. He's not very happy. Come on. Beautiful. Look at that fish. Right, we'll get the hook out of him. Just like that, the hook's out. Only took me about a minute. A beautiful little. Yeah, well, you get the point. Beautiful little fish until we kicked off. 
talking about all the ones that fight super hard and then I've just got this one. He just pretty much came straight to him. Uh, come here. In you come. No. Stop. Oh. There we go. Number five for the day. Starting to roll a couple of them over. Um, so all I've been doing with this little hard body is just straight retrieve. No twitching really, no pausing. Just out and in. I was gonna show him, but he just decided to get away. Um, yeah, so just straight out, cast, Wind, 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 wind. I've got a fish on it. I've got a fish on! What? Well, guys, that is what I've been doing. Couldn't have shown that to you any better. And... Number six. Oh, he's a solid fish. <laughs> no way did that work. Right. Out with the hook. So I went the other hand to show you this guy. He's a beautifully well conditioned trout. So strong. I know my drag's pretty loose, but she's got some go in her, this scale. They, all of them do really. They just, so up here, they're just so well, well fed. And like, obviously they're the only thing in this river, they don't have to, oh well, oh, apart from eels, but eels aren't eating like flies and tiny, oh, like they may eat tiny trout, but like they've got nothing to compete with. So they just thrive. Whereas in somewhere like Hadspin, you've got redfin perch, you've got blackfish, like there'd probably be blackfish in here, but Anyway, they, like you say, they're just worm sort of fish, worm eating and tiny bait fish, not bait fish, bugs and stuff like that. But yeah, beautiful little trouty. Number four, you. Wow, he must have that really good considering those hooks didn't come out. Jumping and spinning, little fishy there. Yeah. Number seven, we're rolling them over now. That little bit of sun, as you can sort of see, sun started to come out. Um, we got a fair bit of rain last night. So um, not heavy rain, but just rain. So I reckon it's put a bit of, no, 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 don't you move. Cause that hook is almost in my finger. Yeah, so that 
probably put a little bit of extra food in the water considering it would be washing bugs and a a a a a a a stop stop yeah it'd be washing bugs and um hey just stop just please be washing like bugs and stuff out of the trees considering like they're all dropping like that so there'd be so much weight in the trees that a couple of the bugs would be falling in but then also a little bit of increase in flow would also probably mean that there'd be tiny little bait fish that would be getting thrown out of their original habitat that they've been staying at and they're looking for a new spot so a uh, little tiny bait fish imitation is like it's basically showing that there's like it's acting like a little fish that's lost its spot because there's been a rain overnight and they've been flooded downstream and they're just looking for a new spot to relax and feed but obviously brown trout being a predatory fish if they see another brown trout come into their zone they're not going to be waiting to share around food they're just going to be slamming it like they have been today so seven down hopefully more to come you Oh no! God damn it! Of course he got off the jazz lure. No! I lost a fish in that hole last time, pretty much in the exact same situation. That's bullshit. Sure, that's got to be a fish. Just as I asked. Number eight for the day. Comes all the way, wet my hands into my hands. What a beautiful fish. Just perfectly thinned in the top of the mouth there. Just by one treble, so fairly happy to get him in. Unlike a couple of those other ones that I dropped. Perfectly just pops out. What a beautiful little trout there. Number eight for the day. Okay, don't think he was happy about being caught. Ew! In you come, in you come, in you come, number nine. <laughs> oh. oh, so pretty much he came off, but he came off in this little tiny area in between here where it's not much water and he couldn't swim off. But I got, I got my hands on him and I got him in. Another beautiful little fish, but we'll let him go. Just like that, he is off. Number nine, done for the day. Look at him, just cruising around. They're such an awesome fish. Oh crap, we're still on. I thought I dropped him for half a second. Number 12 is on the bank. Wet the hands. 
So these ultralight hard bodies are such a killer way to catch trout. Make sure to stay tuned until the very end of this video because I'm going to go over just how I've been, like everything about fishing these little tiny hard bodies. But another beautiful little river trout, number 12, I am quite sure. And just back he goes. Phew, look at him. Look at him. That is awesome footage. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, you gotta subscribe for that footage. That was like, half a meter away from a platypus experience. Well guys, um, you've made it to the end of this video and um, it has been a good one. So I've got 13 fish and I've still got a little bit to go. So I reckon hopefully I'll be able to at least bump her up to 20. But I just want to go over the rod combo that I'm using. For fishing hard bodies, it's very important to have a very good quality rod. So, hold up, I'll just get this hook out of my finger. Better. So, I've just run in a, just a Aired LT. Nothing special about the reel. Um, and I've got four pound Timberwolf braid on that. Um, so, that has been perfect for me for a long time and um, just feeling everything, feeling those little taps, because a lot of the times they'll follow it, they'll tap it, and then they'll grab it. And um, yeah, but anyway, furthering up, I've got a, oh, don't have much left, but that what was a long liter of four pound fluorocarbon. Fishing for trout in small stuff like this, a long liter doesn't matter, like that 30 centimeters will do, but usually I'll have two um, meters length of leader tied onto my rod, just so if there's any chance of the fish being spooky, they're not gonna see your little bit of leader. But in this fast flowing bit, where you're just casting out your hard body lure and winding it straight back in, they're not even gonna notice. Right, now lures. Now, that's a little 40 millimeter lure there. So I've got a wide selection of hard body lures in my bag. But if you're targeting trout like this, you really want a, in, in shallow rivers like this, you really want a shallow 40 millimeter lure, a shallow 50 millimeter lure, and a shallow 60 millimeter lure. I usually use hawk snipers in deeper stuff, but um, like in stuff like this, they can like hit the bottom a lot and stuff like that. So if you can get something like really, really shallow diving, like I'm a hawk so of the cranks or something like that from Old Good Launceston, then you will be in for a good day on the trout. Um, and last all to retrieve. So just cast out, mix it up. A lot today they were just cast out, wind, wind, wind. But in a dam or something like that, you've got to move it up because they're not always going to be on that just straight retrieve. And now you don't need these, but boy, do a good pair of polarized sunglasses help. They are amazing when it comes to looking into the water. These are old pair, they're about 10 years old, and technology has heaps changed, and they're a lot better nowadays than what they are used to be. But this one pair, it does the deeds perfectly. Um, not very attractive, but while you're out here catching fish, chuck them on, you'll see more fish. And I've seen fish that I've been talk, show, trying to show you guys today that you guys probably haven't even been able to see, but I have, thanks to Sunny. But anyway guys, thank you heaps for making it to the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Hopefully I'll be out of some trout fishing next video and into some something. Don't know, just getting on the borderline of sick of trout fishing. But anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.